Hi there. There's this crazy thing that, um, this idea that if you're going through the menopause or being through the menopause that you don't produce female hormones anymore. And I just want to clarify this because even though your ovaries are shutting down and they've done their work and it's, it's, it's into a new phase, you actually have a whole endocrine system with your pituitary gland, your thyroid gland, your adrenal glands, your ovaries are only, uh, you know, another part of that. And with our amazing organism, this body, we actually produce something called DHEA, which is like a precursor hormone. It's produced in the adrenal glands and it can be converted into any hormone we choose. The problem is, is if we're stressed out to the hilt, eating in the wrong way, living the wrong kind of lifestyle, then we will likely produce cortisol in place of our essential female hormones. So we have a responsibility to not only look after ourselves with the way we eat and the way we live, but also to manage our stress, because otherwise we're gonna produce cortisol instead of these really important female hormones. And the other problem that can happen is that as we get older, we can sometimes function too much on our masculine side and the masculine side of us is the doing side. It's the, it's the to-do lists, it's the action, it's getting things done. And we live in this whirlwind world, which is all about action and doing. You are praised on the basis of how busy you are. And the invitation with pre-menopause and menopause is to do the exact opposite, to actually tune into your feminine and to let your feminine be your leader and then your masculine, your doing energy, honours the feminine. So the feminine is the being, creative, nurturing energy. And then the masculine honours that with the right action. The empowered masculine honours that with the right action. If you do it the other way round, you will run, run around like a headless chicken. And that will create stress and it will mess up your hormones. Um, and again, like I said, society is, is, is a patriarchal society. It's changing a bit. But it is this idea of, you know, doing, doing, doing. And the emphasis is now moving away from the, for the, towards the importance of taking time for you and tapping into your feminine through movement, dance, meditation, time in nature, cuddling your kids or your pets. Um, and it's not just not doing anything. It's not, I'm not saying just sit and do nothing. What I'm saying is you're inviting the feminine in first because you live in a female body and you want to produce decent amounts of those female hormones. And then your masculine honours that. So you, you sit in that feminine space and then you get the inspiration to act on that from that place rather than the other way around, which might look like getting up, getting ready, um, looking at your to-do list and running around and doing this, that and the other. The feminine way could be setting the alarm a little bit earlier and doing a meditation, tuning into yourself, a little bit of journaling, maybe burning some incense, lighting a candle, um, using soothing essential oils to start the day, uh, maybe even going for a walk in nature, maybe having a cuddle with your kids if they're up for it or your pets. It's that, that is the feminine way and that is the most fantastic way to start the day because yes, you have feminine and masculine qualities, um, but you are in a feminine body and you want to enhance the production of female hormones. If you're too far on your masculine side, because that is not the natural way for your female body, that will cause you to produce cortisol and some of the male hormones, which, you really want more female hormones than male hormones in your body. So it was just a quick jump on to give you some suggestions around how to balance your hormones and not to fall into that trap of thinking that when your ovaries um, stop producing female hormones that you now are no longer producing female hormones and you need to put hormones in your body. If you choose to take hormones, that's completely up to you. Um, but you don't have to, um, and that's a whole other subject if you want to use a natural holistic approach to smoothing out your menopause, um, get in touch. Lots of love. Bye for now.